This is a surreal video that I'm about to make and give you guys this insight and hopefully a whole hell of a lot of inspiration moving forward in your own daily lives. <laughs> because my life at one point, and not even that long ago, like, not really, absolutely sucked. And I didn't believe for one second it was going to stay that way. But it goes to show that's how life can be sometimes, guys. Shit can absolutely suck. And if you guys want my piece of advice on that right quick, embrace it. Just like I have, just like other people have as well. Embrace the suck. Like, it's not that deep, bro. If your life ain't where you want it to be right now, don't trip, bro. Like, life changes, man. My life at childhood was actually quite normal and actually very good. And there were certain things, obviously, nothing's perfect. There was ways I was disadvantaged, especially as I got a bit older which is when the harsh reality starts to kick in. But you have to embrace life. The good times, the bad times, bro. When you're in really good times, let's say when you're young, you, you kind of take it for granted and you think that's just what life is until something and tragic happens, bro. And that's when you've never experienced anything like it in your life. Whether it be a harsh breakup, first heartbreak, losing friends, losing your damn mind. Something that's tough. And it's going to hit like nothing you've ever felt. And it sounded like for me, everything hit at once. And I wasn't used to it because, bro, when I was young, I played the sports. I was a popular kid in school. I had my way with the women. I had great friends at the time. Went to every important party you could possibly think whenever I was in school was involved in everything, was liked. You go from all that to everything coming crashing down on top of you and you're not prepared for it. You don't, you don't possibly think life could be that cruel until it happens. And it's tough because you didn't anticipate that to happen. And when those things happen, that's when you get hit the hardest. When you're in love with a woman and it's just going so well, it's like, how could anything possibly bad happen? And it does. You get hit the hardest because you did not anticipate what just happened. You didn't see it coming. Just like even, bro, like you wouldn't expect a loved one to die. And if that happens, it's going to be that harsh. It's going to hit that hard and it's going to be that brutal. And it depends how they pass, I guess, because if a loved one had like stage four cancer or had something serious, the doctors tell them they have this amount of time to live, then you're going to, the lead up is coming. You know, it's going to happen, but things can happen out of nowhere sometimes. And a lot of that happened to me in my life. And to be honest, It made me as strong as I am today. I did not anticipate and almost damn near cut my fingers completely off. I have them still, but these two, bro, I cannot close these hands. Like, I cannot close these fingers. Like, I don't have tenons in my pinky and ring finger on my good right hand. And that's actually what also changed my life and opened my eyes. So... What does not kill you makes you stronger, and that's what you learn as you go on in life. For some people, I guess. For me, anyways. And this is why you have to embrace the suck. I had a kick addictions at one point. I lost the girl at one point. Lost friends at one point. Cut the fingers off at one point. And it's like all these things were happening at the exact same time. I was getting stolen from from some past friends. Like, things were not good, bro. This is going on at like 18 years old. That's the type of tragic shit that I was facing at 18 years old. 
and it set me off on a tangent. And my life didn't get good just like this. I was improving myself. I was coming back from the dead, rebuilding my life. But shit don't change overnight. My life sucked for a long time. Like there was things that was good. My health, my fitness was good. Things were good. But it's like there was this dark side where it's just like things ain't right still. Things ain't right. And it takes time to make things right. It takes time to really hone into who you are as, as a man or even a woman. It takes time. There's going to be those kinds of times. And it built me into who I am. And I hope this can inspire some of you guys to know no matter what happens, keep pressing forward. Keep doing your best work even when you feel a burden on your life. You might be down right now. Things might not be going your way right now, but you have to grind during those times. It sucks. You have to like even out that feel by putting yourself through even more stuff, but in a positive way, obviously. Like you're putting yourself through through fitness routines. You're put, like you're sitting yourself down. You're taking in more knowledge, more information. You're doing everything in your power to evolve to get yourself up, to be a better human being. You're doing everything in your power. This is the type of shit I did, and nobody told me to do it. God told me to do it, actually. I shouldn't say nobody, because God was telling me to do these things. My life, bro, for years, absolutely sucked. And it's like, I was numb to it. Just completely cold. like completely and utterly cold to what was going on. Like, I could not anticipate what happened, bro. Like, I'm telling you, bro, don't forget about what happened in the beginning. I had everything going for me, literally. Like, I played the sports. We, we took team trips with buses, with the girls team. You're sitting in, in the seats with girls. You're... you're conversating with girls you're making it with girls in the bus you're playing the sports you're the cool kid you're going to the parties it's like bro you're getting all this life experience and everything comes crashing down and it's like no more of that no more of that no more friends no more females at this specific time because you can't even you can't even function almost like like a regular human being it's like you, you just feel this brokenness inside this, this hole, like it, it's just, boom, it, it all hits. And everything starts to crum crumble around you. And no matter how hard I got hit, no matter how much of a burden all this stuff was, it was unexplainable how, how fast things shifted. Like, it's, it's crazy. It is crazy. But it shifted fast. And no one's taught to deal with that kind of stuff, bro. That's why life just happens to you sometimes and you have to know how to maneuver. This is when I was talking to God. Like, that's the only good thing you can do during those times. And some people don't, bro. Some people go to drugs, alcohol, booze. Like, some people go crazy because they can't handle it and they, and they don't want to go to God. Because if you go to God, he's not going to order you to do something so simple and so easy. Going to alcohol is what's easy. Going to all that stuff is what's easy. Numbing yourself with those things is easy. What's not easy is feeling numb anyways, naturally, because of how much of a burden is on your life, and you just keep still working. Like, I didn't feel good for so many years, bro, but I just kept working, I just kept working, I just kept working. Like, I could function. Like, I was, I, I was all right, but it, at the same time, like... Shit in your mind is just still not right. It's like, how, how am I here? How was all this happening? How am I not like with this girl right now? How, how, do, how are things not better? How, do, how am I in this position? And that's the conversations you're having with yourself. My health was good. My fitness, fitness was good for a while. But other things was just not good. You didn't have your life completely together. You were young. And it's tough to deal with. And no matter how tough life is, I press forward. No matter how I feel, bro, I press forward. I'm gonna persevere. 
I'm going to win. There's no other way about it. There is literally no other way about it. That's what you have to demand of yourself, no matter how bad you feel. Because some people, bro, they feel terrible and they don't do what's right. That's your problem. Like, you have to be tough during your shittiest times. You have to have toughness. You have to be resilient. You can't quit. There was not one ounce of, oh, just, just quit in me, bro. Not one ounce. It wasn't even a question that I was doing what I was doing. I was just doing it on autopilot. It's like, I'm just doing everything. Even when I don't feel right. Even when I don't feel good. Because people make up excuses, bro. It's like, I can't do it because of this. I don't feel good today and I have to do this. Did this and this and this. And it's like... That's only going to make your life worse for a lot longer. So why not make your life great again and get up and get after it? Because when you do, you're going to have such an advantage over everybody else who's not doing it. You're going to win over everybody else. Not like it's a competition with everybody else, but I'm just saying you're going to be the one. The one to do the damn thing. You're going to be the one. You're going to be the one that, that wins the life. That's what's going to happen. I know a lot of people that went through some stuff as well. They did not handle it even closely to the way I handled it, bro. You have to handle shit like a man. You have to be able to go through all that. No one else knows what you're going through. You can't talk to anybody about what you're going through. And you just always do what's right in your own world, in your own 24-hour periods of days. You're doing you all the time. And it might suck for years. There's going to be some... Like, bro, it's not like every day was just as the darkest hour. There were still some good days even during those times. And that's why I'm saying embrace the suck. Even in 2019, bro, which was five years ago, like I remember, like it was yesterday. Like it just feels like it was yesterday. Like you blink and it was like, you're, you're right there. And I was very alone at that time. I had recently moved to the apartment that I was living in before where I'm in my new house now. I was going for long walks by myself in the summertime at night, in the middle of the night sometimes, just brainstorming, thinking, taking in a bunch of good information, thinking and, and meditating and, and just doing all those kinds of things. I was putting myself in the right state when things weren't right. That is your superpower. When things ain't right in your life, you have to put yourself, only you can do it. Only you can put yourself in the right state, even when you're not in the right state. You have to know how to shift things so you can capitalize in your, in your, in your days, in your weeks, in your months, and in your years. You, you have to do what's right. Even if the whole world, bro, the, wor the whole world is never against you. It's not that deep. No one's that damn important. But sometimes it sure feels like it because everything around you feels like it's against you. That's when you're going to feel like the whole world's against you. I felt that pressure. I felt that energy. It's like even when you're going through your the craziest shit, bro, it's like everyone else turns against you. That's something else I had to go through. That's something a lot of you were going through, and you have to be tough during those times. Not everybody's going to understand you, and you know what? They don't care to understand you because you have a different mindset completely. Like, bro, even when I was going through that shit, it's like I was still a savage. And the fact that you're being a savage during those times is what makes everyone turn against you because it's like, wow, this guy's still doing things. Like I was getting extremely fit at the time. It's like people don't want to clap for me, but at the same time, I'm dealing with burdens. And it's like, it pisses you off because it's like, bro, you're fighting for your life out here. You're literally fighting every day for your life to stay afloat. And everyone's still going against you. Friends are turning against you. That's, you have to let that shit like just 
drive you even harder. And, and you're just driving yourself into a successful life. And shit don't stay that way forever. I'll tell you that right now. Shit does not stay that way forever. But that's how it's going to be, bro. Talk about toughness. Talk about durability. Talk about going through it, bro. That's all the shit that I had to go through. And it was not easy, bro. It was not easy at all. But you have to be tough. You have to be resilient. You have to keep a good head in your shoulders and you have to be hungry, bro. Like you can't just piss around and mess around and still try to hang out with people and bro, that's the least of what I wanted to do. I just want to learn more, work harder, be smarter and just do life right. I did what I wanted to. I don't, I don't want to party in the weekends. I want to go for a walk by myself. If there was somebody else with a sound mind, we could go for a walk together. But guess what? At the time, there was nobody around me with a sound mind. Everyone else was a fool. And that's why the fools will turn against you because you're not being like the fools. You're choosing greatness. And this is what greatness requires, guys. And you will achieve it. If you go down that path, I promise you with everything in my soul and in my body, and in my body and in my soul, I promise you, you will achieve greatness if you go down that path. But it, it, it's your path. It's a, a lonely path. It's an alone path. And it's not going to change. Like, yes, things change, but it, you're still, you can never give up that relentless pursuit in life when you're on your mission. No matter who comes into your life, no matter who's not in your life, you have to stay focused, bro. You have to stay focused. You can't even let some female in and just completely take you off course and she convinces you not to work so much and all this stuff, bro. You gotta do what you gotta do. Everything else comes after. If you don't have a female like that, then you shouldn't have a female at all. The people that's closest to you should understand you, bro. If people that's in my life like can't hear me talk and explain things and articulate myself, you're not listening. Why are you even next to me? You're not, you're not going to be next to me. Get, the, get out of here. I can listen to you. I, I can listen to you all day long, in fact. If you're close to me. So I can assist you. So I can help you. This is what a real brother does. This is what a real friend does. This is what a real boyfriend would do. What a real family member would do. This is what real people do. You're there for, for your person. If I was in the presence of one of my friends and someone jumps my friend or picks a fight with him and starts beating him up, I'm going to drag his ass across the pavement until there's no skin left in his flesh. It's not even a debate. I'm going to attack this like a wild animal. He's going to be done. I've done it before. I have drug, I've drug a guy across the pavement before <laughs> and maybe not all his skin came off his body, but we're all, a little over exaggerating there, but just get the point. I get crazy when it comes to the people I care about, bro. Legit. I will attack you like a fucking, like a wild animal. Like, <laughs> go ahead and train for it. You can't prepare for what I'm about to do to you right now if you hurt somebody or attack somebody that I care about. You can't prepare yourself for what's about to happen. You can't. That's how it is, bro. That's who I am. I've always been this way. It's not like I acquired this over time from, from my grind. No. Before I ever grinded, bro. I was always a naturally talented guy, but like before I got so serious, when I was still a kid, bro, this, these, these things were happening. Some of my friends would get into fights and I would intervene. I'd pick people's bodies up and slam them down on the pavement. There's a, there's a bro, there's so many wild stories in my past that I've never even told. But this is how it's always been. And it's always gonna be this way. For the people I care about. The people you care about, the people that care about you, bro, you should be close. Y'all should be able to talk about anything. There's not a lot of real people left in the world today and it's honestly sickening to death. It is sickening to death. It literally makes me sick 
when there's people around me, bro, and it's like, they're not like that. It, it literally makes me sick. Like, I don't even want to talk to them. I don't even want to talk to them. I just don't. <laughs> it's unbelievable, really. But then there's the people you can talk to for hours on end. You can get close. Y'all are cool. But there's not many of those people left. How many females can you can you get close with today? Come on. We, we, we would love to be able to do that. But things are so crazy today, bro. Think people's out of their minds. Like, I don't get why people don't want to build tribes and families and, and stuff like that. It's the only answer. It is the answer. And first, if you have vision like myself and see a gray life with all these types of things, you have to work extremely hard on yourself first because you can't be some quitter, giver upper, when you don't have internal strength yourself, when you can't be there for people yourself, you can't demand real shit from nobody. You have to be about that life and your tribe will come together. Your people will come together because y'all ain't quitting on shit. Y'all are right there forever until death itself. So I hope this video today could inspire a lot of you on your own personal journeys. Don't quit. No matter what, no matter what you're going through right now, it don't even matter, bro. Be numb to like your reality sometimes. Like you honestly should. Sometimes you should be numb to your reality. Like it don't matter what's going on, what girl left you, your friends ain't there for you, your family's not supporting you, your friends ain't supporting you, people's looking at you funny, people's turning against you because you're trying now. It's like, bro, you gotta be numb to all that and just stay locked in. Go down your road wide open. You're just going down your road. It don't matter who's there. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. You're just going down your road all the time, all the time. And guess what? When you're doing that, everything around you just changes. Everything and everything will come together if you get yourself together first. With that being said, God willing, God bless. I will see y'all at the top, I hope.